Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to High Vibe In with Ray and Laura. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern and 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Woo! Yes. Thank yes. you. So thank you in advance for joining us and give us some likes and some hearts and share this sucker out for anybody who might need to hear some of this wisdom today. We're going to be talking about clarity um, and we have some exercises and some journal prompts to take you guys through. So yes, you are here. I want you to break out your pen and paper and get a glass of water because we're going to be sharing a lot and we're going to try to go at a pace that... Um, mm -hmm you know, gives you some time to write some of these things down because yeah. it's a lot. Um, so well, the first thing we're gonna do to gain clarity is we're going to do some centering breaths. And I was actually guided to do this because I was feeling a little bit like, uh, I've been going, going, going lately, friends, back to back to back. Yeah, she has. Full shot. And um, Raylin's feeling a little funky too. Yeah. So um, I was kind of drawn to it for that, but I'm like, what better way to teach clarity, right? Yeah. <laughs> because it's very hard for our minds and our souls to focus on gaining clarity when our bodies are like a hot mess. So <laughs> three to five deep cleansing breaths is the way that we activate our parasympathetic nervous system and our bodies automatically react, relax, right? Our physiological yeah. State comes down from this heightened go 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 lifestyle or whatever it is we're doing that day, and we're able to center a little bit. So, all right, so everybody just close your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose, really filling up your abdomen, and then breathe out through your mouth, pulling your belly button to your spine to really squeeze out that breath. We're gonna do two more of those. Deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Wringing out your abdomen like you would wring out a towel. Really squeeze all that breath out. And on your next breath in, when you get to the top, I want you to pause for a second. And then breathe in a little bit more to really fill yourself to full physical capacity. And hold for a second and then breathe out. You just kind of shake your arms, wiggle your fingers, move your neck around. And yeah. for me, when I do that, I just feel like a little tingling in my cheeks and I just feel a little bit, a little bit rubberier, a little bit like Gumby. Right? <laughs> Gumby? I'm Gumby, damn it! I'm Gumby! <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, so, um, so anyway, so taking those few deep breaths activates that relaxation response in our bodies so that we at least have one more obstacle that's not in the way of us yeah. accessing our true selves, okay? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Raylan, do you want to – actually, why don't we share who we are because we didn't do that at the beginning, just in case people <laughs> – just in case people have – I've been here before. Like, who are these randos coming up in my news feed, right? So thank you for that, my friend. Um, I My name is Raylan Sandin, and I am the owner of The Healing Space. Um, and I am also a Wellness Universe member and world changer. I am a, gosh, I... I'm a Reiki master practitioner. I'm a hypnotist. I um, am uh, finishing up my certification in emotion code. I have lots and lots of modalities, energetic modalities that I use. Um, first and foremost, I am a healer and um, and I have my own journey of healing, you know, in, in on all in all honesty, we all have our own journey of healing going on. That's what our life is about. That's what this human journey is about, right? Mm -hmm. So I love working with clients and helping them to shift from uh, stories of disempowerment, stories of victimization, etc. you know, things that have gone on in their life. Um, those who are looking to spiritually awaken, um, those who need extra boost along their journey, 
that sort of thing. Those are the individuals that I love working with. And Laura and I actually met each other in a group for practitioners and healers um, called Spiritpreneurs um, with Coach Nick and um, through Emily Harrison with the Akashic Academy. And that's how you and I connected. But in all honesty, we've been soul connected for lifetimes, right, my friend? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Soul sisters for sure. Yes. And my name is Laura Mazzotta, my friends, and I am a Reiki healer and Akashic guide. I've also been a therapist for 15 years. So I have been integrating a lot of energy healing and natural healing methods into my private practice with my clients and have started this Emerge Healing and Wellness business as well as like a separate extension of that. And what I find is that the skills really work very naturally together. And I enter the Akashic Records and offer Reiki healing, tapping, inner child work, narrative work, um, really to get specific and clear. There's that clarity again. Yes. On answers that people are having trouble finding the, the answer to. The questions that people are finding having, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And, um, right. And but what I you know I'm I suffer with a chronic illness and I that started a few years ago. So I really want to help people navigate how to heal themselves and whether that's from mental illness or mental illness or just a space of trauma negativity. You know how can you empower yourself to use some of these tools you already have within mm -hmm. and not have to try eight thousand different things to figure out what works, you know, cause it can be such a big world to navigate. So to be able to say, Hey, you know what? I've been there, done that. And maybe I can guide you to kind of get this, this jam going a little sooner for you so that you can heal yourself. Yes, absolutely. And that's the key, isn't it? Is, um, we're just simply guides that hold the space to allow people to heal themselves. No healer um, is someone that, you know, comes along and, oh, I, you know, bless you, my friend, you're totally cured, you know, move on kind of a thing, right? Um, it's, it's a matter of, of holding space, using those modalities that we have um, been attuned to and, enabling and empowering people to um, do their own healing work. Yeah, and I learned that very early in the therapy mm -hmm. as a therapist, which is oh, yeah. actually very disempowering to people to save them and fix them. <laughs> yes. It really, and, it, and it's interfering with their journey, you know? Like, yes. they need to feel certain things. They need to experience certain things to be able to learn from them, to gain the lessons from them, to learn how to tune in to their body, emotional and energetic and physical bodies, to be able to say, oh, okay, now I know what I'm off or I know how to, you know, jump into X or jump into Y, depending on where I am. Yep. Um, teaching that ability to tune in is where the power lies. Yep, 100%. And I've, I've uh, said the same thing too, you know, I share with clients that, um, and I'm sure you have as well, that it really, um, as healers, and oftentimes we are also empaths, we're intuitive, etc. It is not, it is kind of our lesson to learn that it's not our business to fix other people, right? And to get involved in the work of it in that way. We cannot um, fix others, we can't make their lives better for them, but we definitely have the ability and um, the power to hold the space and reflect back those things that people need to learn and um, those areas that they need to heal from. You know, we just shared in a journaling group on Sunday, you guys were kind enough to share with me about my own issues um, in my personal life with, uh, with, you know, that, that aspect of healing, um, with my husband, you know, and I feel such tremendous responsibility as a healer, don't you? Yeah. For the people that are around us. And, you know, I, I know I was taking ownership of that in a way that was inappropriate and wrong. Hey, Lori, and hi, Sherry. And I, I was internalizing that and my ego got involved and I was 
feeling the the weight or feeling as though it's my responsibility and who am I as a as a healer as somebody in this world working with energies if I can't get a handle or if my own husband is having issues right dang talk about talk about clarity in that moment <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean that's the, the beauty of being on the journey that we've been on right yes. is that you know we've we've been there I mean have we experienced everything everybody else has no we haven't but right. we also we can identify with the vibration of being in that space mm -hmm. and yep. You know, there was so much. There was so much hesitation before I kind of went public with this business about. But I'm not healed yet. Yeah. You no, know, like I'm not 100 percent yet. Yep. I, I might be 85. I might be 80. But I'm not 100. So. Right. You know, but but being able to authentically state that. You know, I'm gonna have my bad days. Yeah. Like Raylin and I were just talking before we came on here publicly, that both of us are kind of like. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> we're leaning into the mm. exactly. And I think it's really important to talk about yeah. the fact that, you know, just because we're on this spiritual journey and we're healers, you know, doesn't mean that we are magically enlightened and we oh, never right. Everyone never has problems with her husband and I never have problems with my health. And Right. You know, I mean, you're gonna have your days. So it's it's a combination of honoring those days, mm -hmm. honoring what you're going through, so that you really use your intuition to tune in, right? And using the skills, and we're gonna teach you some today yep. of how do I tune in? What is this teaching me, right? So we can be little guinea pigs for you guys today, since we're a little bit of a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do we tune in? Yes. Our hot messiness. Exactly. And, you know, what is this saying to me? You know, what, what am I learning? What do I need to learn from this? So one of the ways that both of us have gained clarity and one tool that we've used to um, see more clearly is using cards. Yeah. And you can use Oracle cards. You can use um, just affirmation cards. Mm -hmm. But, um, oh yeah, that's, what's that one called? The name was in the way. Empowering what? Empowering that's questions. Empowering questions, okay. Yep. Raylin's gonna pull us a couple of those. So guys, I, we said early on when we started, I don't know if you guys were with us, but get out a pen and paper because we actually have a lot of like tools and questions, journal questions, exercises to yep. share with you today. And um, I don't want you to miss it because this is something that you can really use to explore in your own time at your own pace. So Raylan, do you want to grab a couple cards for people? Yes, it would be an honor and a pleasure. Okay, there is one and two. Okay, the very first one, and again, this is the empowered um, Empowering Questions deck. What is the most courageous thing I've done? How did it make me feel? What is the most courageous thing I've done? How did it make me feel? I'm writing it down too. Perfect. And we'll be taking, I'll take photos of these cards too for the replay and post them in the comments so that if you're catching it on the replay, you've got them as well. And then the next card is, ooh, this is a good one. What is my biggest dream? What can I do today to move closer to that dream? What is my biggest dream? What can I do today to move closer to that dream? And let me just tell you guys, you know, one of the things with cards is that the understanding is that it is wisdom that comes from spirit. Yes. So that, to trust that the cards that are pulled for you um, in this moment or collectively or whatever resonates are the ones that have the messages that you need to explore or the ones that you need to hear at this time. And spirit's never going to give you anything that you're not prepared to integrate. Yes. So, um, so understanding that even if you think, Oh, well, that's a silly question. Do it. Write the answers. Okay. Because maybe something underneath that an answer that you're not even consciously aware of that spirit is guiding you to. And, you know, along with that too, Lauren, you and I do this all the time with our own journaling is we do not edit ourselves. So whatever flows, flows. 
So the words that come, we simply write those down. The concepts that come, we simply write those down. And um, it's not an interruption of a process, but it's an allowing of, like, like Laura mentioned, you know, if there is a sub uh, concept or an idea coming forward for you, write that down. Don't question anything, just simply write it down because it's our subconscious mind spirit bringing that to our forefront in order for us to witness it. And there's always the perfect message there for us in that. Yeah, and the, the best work that I've, I mean, that I think I do and that I also receive from other intuitives mm -hmm. is when they don't filter what comes in. Yes. Right? So when I'm in the records and like a random, you know, animal comes to me or a random word or a random image and I'm like, well, this is weird and it doesn't make sense and I feel silly saying it. Right. The more that we just literally just receive, I'm telling you every single time that I just go with it, it turns into such amazing wisdom every single time every single time it's not filtering that it's not you know curbing that with our ego or our self-consciousness or what have you exactly exactly all you right or no uh yeah i can pull from the sacred empowerment deck yeah do it we want one more all right okay that so the sacred empowerment deck is actually coming in threes for us. So we're going to get three of those today. Okay. Not to flood us with, and this is what it looks like, the sacred empowerment deck. Uh -huh. So the very first one, I embrace infinite possibility. Ugh. Ouch. Right? I embrace infinite possibility. So what I do with these when Raylan gives me these fabulous ones, mm -hmm. Hi, Molly, thanks for coming. Um, is I write down I embrace infinite possibility and just do automatic writing, right? Mm -hmm. Usually it starts with cursing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Laura, Laura's authentic in that way. Yes, <laughs> I just start to think like, oh God, like what? I know this is bringing something up for me, and I'm like. So not looking forward to doing this process. Did you see the article that came up in um, my news? It came up in my news feed either this morning or yesterday in on Facebook that said, um, "Be friends with people who swear." <laughs> Psychologists <laughs> recommend that. Like you've already achieved that goal. Yeah, that's my that's my sister Laura. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, once I get over my little tantrum on journaling on my journaling page, I move on. But I, those that particular deck I love. What that's the yeah. sacred empowerment deck? Yep, sacred empowerment deck. You found yep. that on Etsy? I I did actually. I found it on the American Academy of Mind Body Healing. That's really a long name. It is. I'll type it in the comments. All I right. Um, but you know what else too? I love to use these also as affirmations, right? Of those um, statements, those powerful statements of of ourselves and where we're at. And you know, and when we when we speak, we are speaking power into our lives, or we're speaking disempowerment, right? So. Speaking these gives us that power boost. I, I have chills right now just even holding the card in my hand, especially this one. This one is, my body is vibrant and beautiful. Wow. My body is vibrant and beautiful. How appropriate is that for you, my friend, and us? Wow. Okay, and here's the final one. Oh, my no. God. Go ahead. No, go, go. Right. I'm not talking. Okay, friend, this is the final one. And OMG, you're going <laughs> to. Forgiveness is a gift I give to myself. When I forgive others, I free myself from burdens of the past. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. What did we say? Shit's getting real, girlfriend. Shit's getting real. Shit's getting real. Oh, and the thing is, is what we just read in our radical forgiveness book and journaling junkies was how, when we say affirmations out loud yes. um, or speak our truth out loud, that yes, like you just said, those words carry a vibration and they carry power and they gain power. But 
particularly when we share them and speak them out loud with others. The energy and momentum, which then has that ripple effect, right? Mm -hmm. Rachel, thanks for coming. So um, if you guys are just joining us, we are pulling some cards because we're teaching you guys some tools that you can use on your own to gain clarity. We started with the breath and we did three to five really deep breaths. We did three here, but three to five is what you take to activate the parasympathetic nervous system and calm your physiological body down, okay? Yes. So we did that to kind of leave us with one less obstacle to access that inner wisdom. And then <laughs> just pulling some cards, which we're encouraging you guys to have a pen and paper for so that you can write some of these down, use them as journal prompts or affirmations for yourself, okay? Yes. So I embrace infinite possibility. That's a very interesting one because we were just having our offline conversation yeah. about how well, both of us are having a little trouble with trust lately, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. so saying I embrace infinite possibility feels like this knot, this little tension right in my heart chakra, right in my chest, like, oh, you're not really feeling that. You got a little resistance because I'm I'm gripping on a little too tightly. I think I'm just going, going, going too much right now. I don't know. Yeah. But to say I embrace infinite possibility, energetically, I'm not fully aligned with that. Well, and I'm feeling in my gut. And, you know, our gut is the air, the seat of our sacral and our solar plexus, predominantly solar plexus, right? And that's where we get our identity, our drive, our ambition, our sense of well-being and safety and all of that from. And I agree with you. I uh, was even thinking this morning some, some limiting thoughts on surrounding, you know, um, this this way that I'm showing up in the world and, and with, you know, bringing the message to others to toward healing and all of that stuff. And I was holding a limited view in my mind of what that should look like. And this is reminding me that, that if I'm limiting the scope and what things should look like in, in this realm, then I'm the one who's disempowered. Mm -hmm. I need to embrace infinite possibilities and be open and allowing. But that you're actually, you know, you're not disempowered. You are fully empowered. You just have to access it. Thank you. Yep. 100%. We are all fully empowered. We just, there's a lot of weight that's on top of that empowerment. Mm -hmm. Remove those weights. We need to clear those blocks so that we have access to what's already there. I mean, you talk about the solar plexus, that's our inner sun right here above our belly button, right? Our, our seat yep. of power and self-esteem yep. and confidence. And, you know, the more weight we take off, the more that can shine, the more that can expand, right? Yeah. And look at the cover of this card too. Like that. <laughs> there it is. There's the sun right there. Yep. Woo. All Can right. I so let us know guys comment below if you're having issues with trusting with trusting the universe yeah with, with surrendering with trusting um source trusting yourself mm -hmm. because i mean they all go together because this conversation with Raylan and i started with her saying that she's having trouble trusting herself she's doubting herself yep. and i was that's funny because i'm having trouble trusting my faith right now and it's it's in and out Right. Yes. And it's very briefly, you know, ultimately I can bring myself back in and I know what that wisdom is at the core. Right. But, you know, um, it's, I'm just feeling a little shaky. Just feeling a little shaky. So shame here. And yeah, absolutely. Share with us on the page. And I have, um, rightfully so, I have the Surrender Yourself deck by Dr. Judith Orloff who is a psychologist out of California and an empath. And she writes um, and has done a lot of studies, um, valid scientific studies on um, empaths and intuitives. And the uh, honestly, the um, fact of the matter is we all have these abilities. It's whether or not we tap into them. And she speaks a lot about how um, empaths and intuitives show up in this world and how we can, how we do um, help others in healthy ways. So this deck 
if you share what what is coming up for you, then we will pull a card for you on areas um, and messages from spirit on what you need to surrender and how that can help you. That was one of my first decks and it is one of my favorites. It doesn't have a book with it. It just has those green statements at the bottom, but yep. I feel like it is so solid every time. I just, that's like one of my favorites. I love it. Yeah. Same right. So what do you guys kind of think and, you know, decide and Raylene, can you just pop a comment in there while I start to take people through this exercise of, um, you know, just encouraging them or, or asking the question for anybody who pops on after Absolutely. this point. So um, Raylan and I are part of a writing group with Laura DeFranco and um, mm -hmm. we get these prompts that we can write freely on and share with one another and stuff like that. And so one of our prompts was on clarity. Okay. And um, one of the things that Laura DeFranco said was everyone is craving clarity. And I think that's such a good way of putting it, that everyone is craving clarity. Mm -hmm. because, you know, whether it's in a particular situation or whether you just want to feel like, you know, I'm pretty solid and decisive. So no matter what gets thrown my way, I want to be able to feel like I have enough clarity to confidently come up with a response or an, uh, a true confident understanding of, you know, how I feel about it or what my stance is on it. Okay. Yeah. So, I wanted to share what I wrote on this because it's it's an exercise, really, to gain clarity, all right? So you're, I'm gonna try to go at a pace that encourages you guys to write some of these things down, okay? Okay. And um, it's not an exercise that you can necessarily all do right now because some of it has a creative component, but it's something I would encourage you to kind of get the steps of so that you can practice it on your own, okay? So it looks like Lori shared a thought. So if you can pull a card for her while I'm doing this exercise, that would be awesome. Will do. Okay. So one of the, my first answer to this was that using my physical body gives me clarity. Whether I'm using tapping, whether I'm using breathing, exercising, yoga, mudras, any use of my physical body taps me into the beginning of seeking clarity. So once I start to use my physical body in, in whatever way I choose, I write, ah, I can breathe. I feel lighter, easier, and more energetic. So how do I get to that space of feeling lighter, easier, and more energetic? When I'm feeling really low, when I'm feeling like I'm in a place of density and negativity, all right? So the first thing you do is you take some off the top. Okay, by chanting, singing, stomping, or using your body to move some of that energy around. Because now you're in flow. Now the energy is flowing, okay? Mm -hmm. When that energy starts flowing, the creative juices are flowing. So now you ask, what do I use them for? How can I tap into that creativity? So that can be very individual based on the person. Coloring, painting, picture journaling, photography, dancing is creative. You can go back to singing again. Love that. If you do that, yep. you sit down and you color, or you engage in this creative flow. Mm -hmm. I was sharing in my meditation circle the other night. I pulled a card from Archangel Gabriel right before I went in. Oh, yes. I was in the records and it was be creative just for for the sake of being, not to have something to be marketable, not to have something to have to share with other people, but just be creative for the sake of being creative for yourself right. and see what unfolds, see what comes up, right? We so no have a friend. Yeah, we have a friend in our journaling group, Kristen, who just simply paints for the joy of it. She's taught herself, she's done this before, but she's taught herself that new form of resin painting and she during journaling group just sits there and paints and she creates i have chills she creates the most beautiful vivid pictures they're gorgeous gorgeous and you know i you know that i love to draw mandalas and i draw them for my friends and i have one in queue for you my friend it's being worked on now yes yes so, I love you too. 
And I love that. I think being creative has been, for me, a huge remembrance and a huge outlet for tapping into um, those areas. Yeah. Do you want me to share Lori's card with her? Um, yeah, go ahead. I'll stop here because people that people can maybe catch up and writing down some of these steps. Go ahead. So great. All right, Lori. Here is your message from the universe. Lori was sharing that. Uh, do you want to pop her comment on the screen? Absolutely. Yep. Here. Cool. So Lori's been having some some trouble with trust as well, you know, just like us, like many of us, right? And and this is coming up for her. Um Finances is always a big area that all of us need to learn to trust and to surrender. And this is the perfect message for her. Surrender to oh, results. That's what results. I was going to say. Yep. And timing, right? Yes. So it says the formula for success is to do all that you can, is to do all you can to make things happen and then let go of results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. There you go, my friend. There's your message. That, uh, that video I did, oh my gosh, it was like a couple months ago on gripping things to death because I felt like I went through that one week or something with my clients where like every single one of my clients was just like, ah, like in that position of force, you know, wanting to force everything to happen and, you know, understanding that it will happen in its own time that, you know, spirit decides what our timeline is and when that should come into our lives. And that's a very hard thing to do. I'm so glad you brought that up because I feel like that's where, ugh, that's where trust is so hard to sink into. Oh my gosh, absolutely. Yeah, when it comes to our like livelihood and like oh. our children and I'm like, so I'm supposed to trust that like, you know, <laughs> this dude or whoever it is up there is going to be taking care of me and yeah. You know, like I got to pay my bills. Yes. Know? Yes. Well, and you know, you and I, we were talking in our conversation before the show started. We were talking about this very thing, too. So this isn't just a um, a need to surrender for Lori. I think it's a universal message. All right, Rachel, we'll get a card uh, pulled for you. Creativity outlet that she was drawn to. Yeah. And you know what else I want you to do, Raylan? I want yes. To sacred empowerment card for her because okay. I think she needs to do some writing. That's what I'm being told is to do some writing for, on for Rachel or Lori, Rachel for okay. Rachel. Gotcha. Doing it because writing is a creative outlet. Yes, it is. So it's, it's Rachel easy. loves music and listening to music is creativity as well. Dude, that girl, well, now, Rachel, you got to rock out. Right. Oh, right. Okay. So Rachel, your sacred empowerment card. This is for Rachel. I am ever expanding. I am ever expanding radiance. Oh, wow. I am ever expanding radiance. That's her card. And here's her surrender card. And then we'll get to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. All right, Rachel, here is your surrender card. <laughs> surrender to passion. Oh, uh, that, that's, that's the sacral chakra. Sacral chakra is passion and creativity. It is. Dang it, dude. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Woo, bam. And this is so appropriate for Rachel too. Holy cow. Okay. I'll save them and I'm posting Rachel. Pictures. What I was going to say, I want to say two things to Rachel on this regarding creativity and passion. Yeah. Okay. One is yeah. Yeah. you can draw fire, just fill a page with fire, get like orange and red and purple and blue crayons or markers or something and just draw fire in whatever way you envision it, just flames all over the page. And the other thing I was going to say was, you know, I think, is the new moon coming up? The new moon's coming up, right? I think so. Yeah. And we're in Lionsgate, too. Yeah, so use whatever your journal prompts are that you'd like to release before you set your intentions on the new moon and burn that shit. Yes. Go outside and create a sacred ceremony for yourself that includes fire and burning some of that off because 
creating sacred ceremony is also a very creative and passionate force and way of using creativity. So that's it. That's all I have to say on that. Love it. Howl at the moon, girlfriend. Howl at the moon. Right, now, before you pull Sherry's, yeah. I'm going to keep going on this a little bit, okay? We yeah. won't yeah. forget you, Sherry. Remembering that your first step is using your body. Mm -hmm. Okay, taking some off the top. Use your body by chanting, exercising, singing, breathing, stomping. Once that energy is flowing, now you're in flow and your creative juices are flowing and you're gonna get creative in some way. We just talked about that creativity and different ways we can do that, okay? So now that you do that, now you're focused. So what does focus help us do? It helps us move forward on an area we've been sitting on. It helps us take action because now we're focused. We can take more focused action, okay? So now do one thing, one step toward one thing, because action solidifies your commitment to yourself and your purpose in this moment. Now your mind has direction and you're one step in, which offers you clarity for the next time you get stuck, okay? So the question that came up here was, so how do I know what to focus on? Mm -hmm. This is where trust comes in, right? Mm -hmm. Thing that your content will come from your creativity from that part of your body that has opened up from moving. What are the colors you were using? The theme or the vibe of the music you were playing, the theme of the picture you drew. While you were in this creative process, what did you feel in your body and where? What symbolism can be captured in this physical space? So what I want you guys to all do is to close your eyes, and we're gonna take three deep breaths, okay? In through your nose, out through your mouth, releasing every last drop of that breath and then in again. Out through your mouth. And then one more time, in through your nose. And releasing through your mouth, releasing your mind and allowing your body to feel heavy and wherever you're sitting right now, allowing your body to feel heavy and focus your awareness on your third eye. Allow whatever symbol or idea or image or color that came to your mind when we were talking about creativity to dance in your mind's eye as if you were watching a movie. How does this dance or this movie play out without obstacles? How does it play out if you had complete freedom and without scrutiny? Envisioning this, I want you to tap into how this makes you feel. Identify that feeling and sit with it for a moment. Now capture this feeling as if you were taking a snapshot. This feeling, this space, this image, this movie that you're watching and playing out in your third eye is the place from where you manifest your dreams, your goals, your purpose, your focus. You can choose to access this vibration at any, once you get a sense of what you see, hear, touch, smell, and taste in this space. Make a choice to access this vibration daily for five minutes, three minutes, 10 minutes. However long is necessary to fully bask in and absorb and integrate this vibe into your energy field. Your consistency in this practice is the cornerstone for manifesting your dreams, for trusting yourself and reminding yourself of your reliability, of your goals, of your focus, and of your purpose. Love it. I'm off my soapbox now. <laughs> well... It's a great soapbox. All so right. I'm not sure something you guys could really dive fully into right now. 
I wanted it to be on video for you to return to. So that when you're stuck with not feeling that level of clarity, it's something that you can follow through in stepwise progression. Absolutely. Right. Sherry's turn, putting up her comment. All right. So struggling with what my life path is for saying what my heart desires, but I'm getting limited by others for this is their way. And also realizing the hard work that I've invested seems to backfire. So I'm feeling it must not be the path. She has one more comment I'm putting up. Thank you. Meaning I feel I'm being limited in all areas and truly feel I am so much more, if that makes sense. Makes total sense. But you're reacting and responding to the resistance that other people are projecting onto you that they feel themselves out of their own fears of you growing and moving and shifting and coming forward and stepping into your power. OK, which a lot of us, gosh, can um, identify with just even in my own experience in coming forward in a more visible, um, exposed way with what I'm doing right now. And with, you know, the collaboration with Laura and just everything that we have going on. Right. I have bumped into that. But it's the recognition that it's other people's resistance coming forward, not yours. So let's, I feel like she needs a couple of sacred empowerment cards. Yeah, me too. Oh, dude, two of them came off in my hand, as well as we'll do a surrender card for her too, okay? Oh. <laughs> her first sacred empowerment card. Here we go. I am enough just as I am. Mm. Bam, mic drop. Don't you have chills? I have chills. Yeah. It's 100 degrees here, you guys. That one actually makes me a little anxious. <laughs> oh, hearing that? Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Because why? Because we're if we get the messages from society or we believe the messages, right, that we're not enough, that we have to be doing, that we have, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more, right? Whoo. Okay. This one is also speaking to me too. So thank you, Sherry. And I know it's going to speak to you as well. Thank you, Sherry. We're all mirrors for each other here. Damn. There is power in patience. <laughs> I have all the time I need. Ah. <gasps> okay. Okay. I'm trying that to that. think of Lori too, you know, with her comment earlier. Amen. Uh, you know, and, and really surrendering your patience to that spirit's timeline. 100%. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Here's the surrender card. Surrender to complete healing. And there's another card. There's another card that I picked before Laura's that I held out uh, because I felt like it was speaking to me, but it's for all of us. I'll share that in a minute. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Let me see that image again. Hold it up. Let me. Can you see it? Yeah, I love that. Isn't that incredible? And then here's the next one. Girl, this is a conviction right now in my heart. Surrender comparisons with other people. Bam. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. Here we go. Here we go. Powerful, 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 powerful. And, you know, I actually just thought of a good creative exercise, too. Um, Let's do it. That I, I've used before. It really gets me thinking, um, but it... it to tune in really to my intuition and get an idea of, um, of yeah. how, what my answers are. So take something like what's coming up for me is trust. Okay. So, you know, you align, it's like those poems mm -hmm. that we used to do when we were in like third grade, right. Where we line up the word, the letters yeah. of trust, you know, vertically on a piece of paper and you figure out. Yeah. Like an acronym. Yes, exactly. Yeah. What does T mean? What does R mean? What does U mean? And, and really you're making like this, visual poem out of the first letters of the word trust. Yes, it is. a It's a journaling exercise, but it's also a creative exercise. And it forces you to kind of go a little bit deeper because you have to think harder about, you know, what 
what that symbolizes for you, where that's coming up for you. And yeah. trusting, especially if you're in a space of stillness and silence, that the answers that are supposed to come through to fill in those letters are the ones that are the messages you're supposed to hear. Yes. I I love doing those. I love doing those. And I'll do that sometime. Um, I also love uh, crossword puzzles too, like the ones that they show the memes on Facebook where um, just kind of glancing at it, what comes out into your immediate awareness. And it's always those word messages are always oh, the ones, word searches. Yeah. yeah, word search. Thank you. The ones that pop out at me are like, oh my God, I needed to hear that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I have chills. I, this is pow these cards are incredibly powerful. I hope that they can see the images. I've been taking while you're talking, I've been taking the snapshots of them. Okay. So woo. Um, if you, and if you weren't here before, we're asking you to share um if you can or if you want to, mm -hmm. sharing areas in which you're having trouble trusting, whether it's yourself or the universe or source or spirit. Mm -hmm. And we have been offering opportunities for you guys to explore clarity in your own life, right? When you're feeling confused and yes. when you're feeling lost or just dense, you know? And um, this is something that you guys can return to later to watch and capture some of these prompts. Some of them we've been able to write down. Yes. Comments. Thank you, Amanda. Thanks so yeah. much for joining us. Would and you like a card? Amanda, do you want a card? Love to pull for her. Out. Thank you for sharing this out because I know that there's other people who are in this space of questioning, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if I'm trusting today or, you know, in this moment. And yes, I always say three times makes a pattern. So ride it out, honor it, and, you know, respect that it's coming up for a reason. And then if it comes up the second day and then it comes up the third day, you can be like, all right, this is becoming a little bit more consistent. There's something underneath this that I need to explore a little bit. You know, this is becoming a pattern. Yes, absolutely. And patterns, as we know, are there communicating with us in order for us to resolve them, to look at them, explore them, and heal them, right? Absolutely. 100% which is why this stuff keeps coming up for me as well. You know, I was having the conversation with myself this morning surrounding all of this and these feelings and, and everyone showing up is reflecting back at me the feelings that I've been having. And um, I was telling myself this morning, it's an opportunity for me to heal. It's an opportunity for me to heal. And you and I, we love working with uh Ho'oponopono yeah. and the power of that as well. And Ho'oponopono is the ancient um, Hawaiian reconciliation process. And it's simply comprised of four statements. I love you. Please forgive me. Thank you. I'm sorry. And so this morning I was cleaning all around all of these feelings. And I'm so grateful that this is showing up reflected back to me because it's an opportunity for me to heal that not only and clear it for myself, but also for everyone else showing up. And for those that are going to watch the replay, because mm -hmm. I know that it will resonate with them as well. So this is what I was kind of being called to do, Raylan. I was thinking, do you think that we could both send some Reiki to um, the audience and send it to their solar plexus since this is an area that we've been kind of focusing on today and talking about in terms of clarity and confidence and absolutely okay so why don't we just take a study to if you have or i want you to just sit back and receive right close your eyes take some breaths keep your breath moving because that helps the energy move through you and ray lynn and i are going to just take a few moments here to send some reiki to those of you who are here live and on the replay, okay? Yep. So just sit back, close your eyes. Ooh. And just receive.
you know, when we started this a second ago, I was feeling like a large rock, like a ball. Mm -hmm. And it feels like it's breaking into pebbles. Now I'm, I'm mm -hmm. at pebble level at this point. I feel like it's soften, softening and kind of. Good. I'm sending quantum along with it, so. For me, it's turned into this very thick, almost pasty energy, which is good because it's it's fluid now, right? We can yeah. move it, we can manipulate it, we can yep. keep spreading it. Yep. Almost coating the area. And once it's coated, we can kind of illuminate that. Sherry said she saw a medium to large size white or gray rock as well. Yeah, that's exactly the color it was for me. Sure, yeah, it's awesome. So now that we have this kind of paste over it, I'm going to send, I think they're doing work under my office. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah. mm -hmm. um, so uh, I'm going to illuminate this. I'm working in the crown now as well. Okay, like a yellow whitish energy, almost like a crystalline light yellow in a way. Yeah. So I'm going to illuminate that and kind of expand that up. Almost like I'm pulling that paste up into a giant bubble above your solar plexus, which then just kind of vaporizes. Love it and dissolves and opens into this semicircle, kind of like a sun, right? Which is what our solar plexus is. Yep. Take a deep breath, everybody. Allowing that release, that bubble dissolving and just allowing and receiving the rays of that space to just warm and expand. Knowing and being grateful for the fact that this is being radiated out to not just us in this space, but everyone that we touch and that comes into contact with our energy field. Yep. Woo! Powerful. Friends, let me know if you guys have any feelings or thoughts on that, uh, or if you have questions. In fact, Raylin, what I wanted you to share briefly is if you could just tell us what quantum healing is. Sure, absolutely. So quantum healing, and when it works with other he healing modalities, it adds like supercharged energy to that. But quantum, a quantum is um, defined as the smallest particle that we know of, even smaller than subatomic um, particles. And it is, it is essentially the, um, the source of energy creation, um, awareness, consciousness, etc. the finite source of it, direct from source, right? So it is the, the, smallest makeup of what we experience in this world with energy. And um, it is not, again, just like Reiki, it is not an energy that um, is found and sourced within myself or within you, but it is in life creation. So when it is added to even by itself it's extremely powerful obviously but when it's added to other healing modalities as well it's just um it's incredible and it can um move through things and um really shift and um mitigate those blocks you know like you were experiencing you saw that rock and then it just morphed into just pebbles and then it became like a liquidy gel that then we were able to manipulate and, and burst forward as a bubble. So it's incredibly, incredibly healing. And 
just for our viewers and for yourself as well, I'm going to begin to, um, as part of my certification in this, I need to serve um, 90 clients. So I'm going to begin to offer um, free quantum healing sessions. So you heard it here first. I haven't even announced it on my page yet. So <laughs> awesome. I want one. I want one. All right. You got it, my friend. You know, you know, you're first in line. So anyone watching this um, on the live and, and in the replay, um, go to my healing space page or comment here. And um, I would love to get in touch with you and, and begin that process for you. What did Sherry say? She said, when, when, I, when we did the breathing earlier, I had an image of a black door with bright light shining around outside of it. Then you did the Reiki, saw a rock, and had chills as soon as Laura mentioned it and had to type. Once closed my eyes, got the same door image, except was light shining in the middle as where you would open. Wow. So that's a message for you, my friend. All you need to do is reach over and open that door and you have all the power of that light standing on the other side waiting for you. That's beautiful. Wow. Yes. Woo. I love it. Thank you. Love it. Love, I it. love it. it. Does. Yes. We are vibing today. We are vibing, friends. Always work together, hence the high vibing. So let us know, guys, if you have thoughts or mm -hmm. topics that you would like to hear about or you need more information on or you'd like us to demonstrate or share with you. Yeah. Um, we are on every Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Yep. So we will be back with you next Tuesday. And, um, you know, please shoot us a comment, private message, if there are things that you'd like to learn about, about how to heighten your vibe, how to gain clarity, things like that, um, so that we can serve you in the best way that we can. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you everyone for joining us today, for watching, for sharing, taking your friends and um, for the, uh, for honoring the space that we hold for you and for showing up authentically and really for opening up and sharing what's going on for you as well because we really are mirrors for one another and this i know is going to touch many many lives and help so many to kind of move through this mm -hmm. right absolutely it's such a gift and it heals us as well you know yeah. to do this work and so before we jump off I just want um, both of us to share what's going on in our communities this week so that people know what to look for or what's coming up. So um, Raylan, why don't you share what's coming up in your community, the healing space? Awesome. Yeah, thank you. So we have um, our journaling junkies group. We meet every Sunday. We're right now going through the book Radical Forgiveness. And um, it is a powerful, impactful book. Mm -hmm. And that meets on Sundays at, what is it for you, noon Eastern? Noon Eastern time, yeah. Noon Eastern, noon Eastern 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Pacific. We, we float right now with Pacific time, so 9 a.m. Um, and you can join that on the Healing Space page. Um, we are in the middle of that book, but if you're looking to join uh, when we start our next book, that will come up in the middle of September. So hit me up on my page and check that out. And um, other than that, you know, like I've said, I have um, the quantum healing sessions that I am going to be offering um, um, to do that. And there's lots of other projects under construction right now. So too soon to tell. On Thursday, Raylan? We have, yes, we have a, we do have a development circle going on the page. Um, it is free for those of you that are in your uh, intuitive um, developing process and would like to meet with other members that are looking to develop their intuitive awareness as well. And we'll be holding space on that. That's Thursday at 6 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard and Pacific. And that is 9 p.m. for you, Eastern. Yep. Yep. So and then what 
time is your show on Thursday? Don't you have a show on Thursday? Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I'm just amazing. helping you remember your schedule. That's oh, all. No, you're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I do have a show. I do know this. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. And then my show on Thursday is um, called Raise Your Vibration with Ray Lynn. It goes live on the Healing Space page at noon Mountain Standard and Pacific. 3 p.m. Eastern. And this week I'll be interviewing the founder and CEO of the Wellness Universe, Anna Pereira. And she is a wonderful, wonderful human being who has gotten this global vision to support healers and wellness professionals um, in this wellness universe and empower them and enable them to get their messages out and their healing um, out in powerful impactful ways to the to the world so join us on thursday noon mountain standard and pacific and 3 p.m eastern awesome thank you very much yes thank you here to guide you through your schedule oh my gosh you know right <laughs> so for emerge healing and wellness um this schedule that's coming up my friends is um sunday is my next meditation circle august 4th and that is 8 p.m. Eastern time over Zoom, 5 p.m. Mountain time. And we all get together. We I post journal prompts in the during the week and then put those journal prompts together into a collective meditation and we do some tapping. And then I guide you through the meditation, which is crazy powerful with yeah. all the collective intuition together. I enjoy it so much. And yeah. then afterwards, we kind of process whatever comes through, sometimes send Reiki to whatever situations or issues have come up. Um, and we've been getting some pretty strong spirit messages the last couple sessions as well. Huge. So it's a really nice group of people supporting and sharing in their energy with one another. Yes. And then Monday I have my show live with Laura at noon Eastern Standard Time on my Facebook page. And I'm gonna be hosting Nick Pereira that day. He is a strategist, yogi and speaker who has recently shifted his business over from um, to do more of that, more of the motivational thing and the yogi and the spiritual entrepreneur stuff. So um, I'm really excited to have him on and to spend some time with him. He's been really influential in my own development with yeah. business and otherwise. And he's just a really good, genuine soul, um, an excellent guide. And um, I would love to have you join us and just ask any questions you might have of him. Coach Nick is is phenomenal. That's where you and I met is in him and his and uh, Emily Harrison's Akashic Academy Blueprint uh, class. So that was phenomenal experience. Love, love, love him. Love. Yay. Excited to see that. <laughs> all right. I'm sending all you guys so much love. Thank yes, you yes, yes. Here. And thank you for being receptive to our energy and our messages. And we hope to see you next week. Yay. Thank you, guys. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.